Uh, Want to switch gears and, and get back to us, Syria, and bring in State Department spokesperson Heather Nauert. Uh, so, Heather, everyone's asking now, what's our next move in Syria? Well, uh, the first thing, and Charles, good to see you. Uh, good, good. Thanks for having me on. Uh, first thing we could do is have Syria declare its chemical weapons stockpile. They could declare it and get rid of it. That is something that Russia pledged to help them do five years ago. Russia failed in its attempt to do so, and that's why we talk consistently about Russia continuing to back the regime of Bashar al-Assad. I have in my office a book of 100,000 names of Syrian people who have been killed in this civil war. Many of them been, have been killed uh, by chemical weapons attacks, and that's just volume one of that book, Charles. Yeah, so the first thing they could do is get rid of their chemical weapons, become a responsible member of the international community. Yeah, unfortunately, there could be six volumes of that book by many yeah. estimates. Well, uh, five, five yeah. already, yes. Yeah. Wow. So um, here's the thing, though. One headline this morning says, a day after U.S. strikes in Syria, mm -hmm. Assad launches a new onslaught against rebels. Uh, this sort of seems like a two-pronged thing here, right? Thumbing your nose at the international community being led by America and saying, hey, we're still going to go out there and destroy all of our competition, or opposition. Yeah. And, and that's certainly something that they have tried to do for many years now. But let's get back to the reason that the United States is in Syria to begin with. The United States' reason for being in Syria is to defeat ISIS. There's a 73-member coalition of that uh, uh, of that de-ISIS campaign. So we continue to do that. But when the United States, backed by Britain and France, sees an additional chemical weapons attack on the part of uh, Syria on innocent men, women, and children, we have a responsibility to act. And you saw our allies do that over the weekend. And I want to mention not a single loss of allies' life. And we tried to uh, minimize any civilian uh, casualties as well. Uh, to that point, though, um between containing ISIS and standing up for civilians against chemical attack, what is the administration's plan for the rest of the country? Uh, the Wall Street Journal has an article out that says you should uh, perhaps the administration seek local allies, uh, befriend mm -hmm. Turkey, uh, and, and keep a small contingent there to, to protect all of those folks. I think this is the big question, and it's yeah, not necessarily being articulated by the administration. Let, What's the game plan going let's forward? Let's break that down. Okay. Uh, first, let me tell you that our acting secretary, John Sullivan, spoke with Turkey over the weekend. Turkey supported the U.S. in its actions and its allied actions against the Syrian regime's use of chemical weapons over the weekend. And that's significant because we have other areas of disagreement with Turkey, of course, but they agreed to back us on this. Many other countries in the region also support of our actions, recognizing that regimes can't use chemical weapons on its people. So that's the first part. The second part is the United States continues to back a UN-sponsored Geneva process. That is a, a political process that can get Syria back on the right footing and get Syria back into a place of peace. It is a long way off, but that is a process that we heavily support and will continue to do that. Now there's a lot of action taking place at the United Nations, the U.S., France, and also uh, right. The U.K. are backing new resolutions this week, new resolutions that would call for chemical we weapons inspectors being allowed unfettered access to the sites. We understand that Syria and Russia are blocking access to those sites right now. They need to be able to get in. We also call for a nationwide ceasefire, with the exception of the U.S. and coalition right. allies being able to go after al-Qaeda and ISIS. But a ceasefire would help to pave the way to get back to the Geneva process, and it's a good place to start. It, it, it is good, uh, yeah. but it, you know, it takes uh, Russia and Syria and, uh, and Assad, and it looks like they're not going to play ball there. Heather, thank you very much. Really right. appreciate it this morning. Charles, it's great, great seeing see you. you. Thanks so much.